Yeah, we need more damage. This is not going fast enough. <laughs> oh boy, look at that. That is terrible. After grinding for a couple of hours and standing on one isolated little bridge for a couple of hours, we amassed nearly two grand of coins in each of our nine banks, which is gonna be a very nice cash injection when we really need it. That was the wrong side. And I went through all of your comments and thank you so much for leaving them. It really helps a lot. Basically, the game wants you to work left to right and then up to down. That's why all the islands were very expensive where we wanted to move. So what we should be really doing is buying the islands to the left and to the right where we unlock biomes, which are gonna immediately give us the resources to upgrade our tools and weapons and that's what we're going to be focusing on today a lot of progress 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 and hopefully in the end end up with a lot of money and a lot of violence one of the first skills that we want to unlock now that we have two skill points is farming the last skill point right now i want to spend on jewelry because that will allow me to make amulets which i don't have any of yet and also gems sell for 20 percent more well that can only be a good thing let's see where we're going to place a windmill let's put it right here three saplings what a coincidence, we need that for a quest. So yes, working from the inside out in the skill tree probably is more beneficial instead of me reaching for the stars without even being able to walk. Let's hand our seats in with our friend. Thank you so much. You saved the forest from those guys with pickaxes. I'm not so sure. I have a feeling there might be somebody still around. Excellent, so let's see what we have. Nice, another spirit orb. Last time I used stamina, so let's go into health. Okay, what does he want now? Hello, friend. I have a final quest for you. Of course, there always is a final quest after the final quest. It involves finding a rare dinosaur egg. If I can get this egg, I will be able to raise and protect the creatures. First things first, let's buy an island here on the right. And that gives us access to the desert. Now that is pretty, pretty awesome. Now on the other side, what do we get access to? Oh yes, the boneyard. So now we shouldn't have any more problems with bones. And look at that, there is bugs, which we need to upgrade our pickaxe. That is amazing. So let's go and catch ourselves some bugs. What do you have here? Do we destroy this? Can we click it? We can't do anything with it. Okay, what, what is that? Ow! Okay, let's not do that again. Ow, okay, ow, ow, ow. Let's just quickly heal up. I don't like you very much. Luckily I have long range. There we go, take that. You can't reach me, but I can reach you. That's how it works. Brilliant. Oh, wow, they give me steel. You have two spirit orbs. I actually can buy them. Oh, yes, definitely want to buy them. And you have very cheap great skulls. I know I need them for something, and I don't know what onyx relics are for, but right now I'm not going to buy them. More stamina, more stamina. Boom. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. That is bad, that is bad, that is bad. Can we destroy him? Well, it will take very long and he doesn't seem to attack us, which is even better. Wow, look at that. We got a great skull and we got a chest. With another spirit orb. Okay, fine, we're gonna put one into permanent damage increase. We can upgrade our water shovel. While I don't know when nightshade grows yet, uh, the trader actually had some and knowing that I needed it, let's craft a shovel. We can't make a pickaxe yet because we still need three more bottled beetles, which are grown over in the desert. Maybe we should buy more land. Oh yes, beetles. What about down there? Oh yes, oh, princess, that's not a beetle. You're mine and you're mine. Lovely to meet you, friend. Yes, we're always friends when somebody is asking somebody for a favor. My name is Anna Banana. So far, so good. It's hard being a princess in the desert. No flowers grow here, a flowerless princess. Not true, I can see one right over here. Okay, she wants me to give her 40 flowers. I happen to have them, so here you go. But there is one right over there. You could just, okay. These are beautiful, thank you very much. I hope you like animals. This will help you find more of them. Anna's delight, animals love the smell of it. What happens when I use it? Animals drop more resources. Animals and fairies spawn near you. Okay. Oh, ow, look at that, nice. <laughs> Welcome to your doom. <laughs> the slaughter factory is calling. Oh, hello. Victim number two. I can make a rare form of clothing that will make animals love you forever. Oh yeah, more slaughter. Bring me the materials and I will make it for you. All right, okay, what do you need? I don't know what that is, but I think I can make it. Oh yeah, here we go. Golden pickaxe, resources and plants may drop coins. Oh yes, because coins is what I like. Water shovel, dig area increase. Digging irrigates the dirt. I have no idea what a fishing rod is for, but I'm assuming it's the same as the fishing traps, except we can do it wherever we want without crafting anything, except the fishing rod. So let's try that. So this is where the elusive nightshade grows. 
And now a pickaxe is ready, golden pickaxe, two attack damage, resources and plants may drop coins. Our fishing rod is finished. Slime amulet, gain 25% more resources. Oh yes, because that is exactly what we need. Yep, digging with this new shovel is absolutely fantastical. Oh, I caught something and I missed. We can also now craft a golden wallet, a medium backpack, golden boots and golden gloves. Okay, our amulet is ready. Gain 25% more resources. Beautiful. We also should be able to make a golden amulet now. Why not? 50% more resources. Okay. Gain 50% more resources. Sweet. Well, let's check out this little monstrosity. What's the worst that could happen? I don't like you. Ow. There we go. Ow, 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 ow. Nope, 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 nope. And it's down. Whew. Let's see what's in the chest. Okay, some gold and some... Oh, nice. And some diamonds or gems. Okay, what's up here? Ooh, a big chest. What did we get? A thunder rod. Use it to zap enemies and to power structures. I like it. And the main boss door is open. Let's zap him. Thunder elemental. Can we zap him? Oh, it looks like we can. But our zapper is out of energy. Ow. Okay, he does hit hard. Ow. Oh, he has minions summoned. Let's destroy them quick. Okay, I can see the boss's health being very low. I have no idea what's going on, but zapping seems to be the right thing to do. And here we go. Oh, he's nearly down. And here we go. Bam. Let's get the other guys as well really quick before they kill me. Oh, very nice. I like it. Let's see what's in here. Nice! Tomb Raider, complete the ancient tomb. Award only to those who beat the ancient tomb. Ancient steel. Oh, heart container, max HP increased. Lovely. Okay, we killed another one of those bosses, got another two heads, and we got another spirit orbs, which is amazing. I hope these big bone piles respawn. Let's go into damage, why not? I do like the idea of damage. Hmm, now that we have more powerful weapons, I think we should check this back out. Excellent. And that was easy. Secret passage. Nice. Okay, we got a red key. Oh, there we go. That opened the red. Oh, nice. And here's the green key. Oh, here we go. Use it to blast objects and enemies. Fire rod. Let's go into the boss room. Now we have a thunder rod and we have a fire rod. Let's see if we can utilize both. Nice. Is he... No, he's not allergic to thunder, so I think for the odds, let's do the sun, thunder, and otherwise do the fire. The boss doesn't seem to take any damage whatsoever. There we go. Now he's taking damage. Nice. There we go. He's losing very little health. Yeah, I'm not doing enough damage to the boss, so I think we're gonna have to upgrade our weapons to the bone weapons that do more damage to the bosses. I'm not sure if this whole thing resets when we leave, but hey ho, at least we know our limits. I think a very handy uh, skill is items may be sent to vaults from the inventory, because every time we go anywhere where we don't have access to our vaults, everything gets placed in our inventory. Architecture. Structures have double health, structures cost 25 uh, vaults have more inventory slots. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Well, that was a great purchase. Wisdom draw to increase the experience you gain. Nice. Let's hand over the clothes to the princess. This is perfect. Here you go, friend. Ow. Pink bow. Animals drop 25% more resources and spawn much more often. Nice. Here we go, our new pickaxe. Maybe that will help us to kill that boss. 2.5 attack damage deals bonus damage to bosses. I mean, it's worth a try. And a new glove, attack speed increased by 20%. That can only be beneficial when fighting bosses. All right, golden boots, move speed increased by 20%, gives another 10% chance to dodge attacks. Very nice, golden wallet, coins are worth 50% more. And a bigger backpack, four more inventory slots. And the next level is shovel, dig area, digging always yields sand. Ooh, we have to try that out. Nice. Well, we're doing much better than before, but it's still very hectic, it's very slow, and we're chipping away as long as we can kill them as they pop up. Sometimes they go into the walls, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. 
But they don't seem to be able to hit me either when they're in the water, which is good. Okay, now it's getting stressful because now he actually summons all these little bodyguards as well. Yeah, we need more damage. This is not going fast enough. <laughs> oh boy, look at that. That is terrible. Okay, we are actually still slowly chipping away. I just stay here in the center, which seems to be a pretty safe spot. And every now and then I just get a couple of shots off on this guy. I think we're getting him. I think we're getting him. It is taking so far, I would say, the best part of half an hour. Just literally cheesing it exactly the way I do right now. Such a small sliver of health left. There he is. Come on. Look at the little amount of health he has left. He has to die any second now. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Yes. 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 Oh. He has literally no health left. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, we got it. We got it. Oh, but now we have to dispose of all these guys. This is going to be so hard. Okay, these guys here. Oh, look at that. Let's try to lure them out. We have to open that chest. Come on. Don't get killed, fire seal. Award only to those who beat the temple. Come on, let's go, let's go. Don't, don't die. Oh, we made it. That was absolutely insane. I think I'm going to stick with the damage. So we made a lot of money during that boss fight, so I think we should buy a lot of islands. Like, I haven't even touched these banks, and they all have nearly three, well, 2.2 thousand. So I would say about 3,000 plus all our bonus money we get from our wallets and everything. So that's like 3, 6, 9, 18, 27,000 probably, something like that. But let's go and buy some islands. Oh, there's a cheap one. Nice. Okay, let's buy these ones. There we go. And this one, that's cheap enough. And what about the other side? Okay, and we have, excellent, look at that. Okay, I'm thinking this is going to be very tough. We're not going to do any more dungeons. What is this? Oh, yes, this is the museum. Hello, welcome to the museum. Our collections are rather incomplete at the moment. Feel free to help me fill the bundles. You will get a reward for each one completed. Oh, that's pretty cool. There we go, nice. And another orb. Let me think, yeah, damage. All right, the crystal pickaxe, three attack damage, resources and plants may drop gems. Nice, nerdy classes, XP gain increased by 20%. We just had to shoot this guy with the bow right in the fore eye. Okay, we have one more orb and damage. We also have a couple of jars. I caught a couple of insects, so we can actually hand in this. We can hand in this. We can hand in the butterflies. Where's the butterflies? I know I had butterflies. <gasps> no. And we have these guys, but I know I had butterflies on me. I left my butterflies in the vault. Let's bring them back. And here we are. There we go. Look at that. Completed the museum trapping bundle. And we get another spirit orb damage. All right, based on that, I'm going to leave this here. I hope you guys had fun with the episode. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming.